I published one video earlier where I covered using Gamma app, how can you generate PowerPoint presentations using AI. In this video, I will show you how can you use Gamma app to generate a structure for your PowerPoint presentation so that you don't need to work from scratch whenever you are using PowerPoint application on your computer. These options will not cost you anything and using the free tier of Gamma app, you will be able to create a structure for your PowerPoint presentation and you will be able to build on top of it. When we work in PowerPoint, creating a calendar or creating an organization structure or vertical or horizontal timelines, those takes good amount of time because you need to work with different shapes, lines, arrows to create those things. But using this particular method, you will be able to generate all those very quickly and you will be able to start working on it. So let me show you how can you do it. So I opened Gamma app in my web browser. If you don't have an ID yet, you can use your Google credentials to log in. I already have one ID created and that's why I logged in using the same ID. So this is the dashboard of Gamma app. Let me do one thing. Earlier, I covered this particular option, create new using AI in my earlier video. You can check if you want, I'll add the link in the description below. Using this fast option, you'll be able to generate stunning PowerPoint presentations, which will be completely AI generated. Now this time I'll click on this next icon that is new from blank. So once I click on that, I'll be getting a new page where only one new slide is added and this is the heading slide. And then I'll be getting some controls. In the right side, you can see there are certain controls are there and we'll be using these controls only to build our PowerPoint presentation. And in the left side, you'll be able to see how many slides have been added. So there are two slides now. One is the title slide and another additional blank slide has been added. Now let me show you one by one few of the options. What I'll do, I'll not build one full presentation here. I'll show you different options within these controls. How can you create a structure for your presentation? So to start with, I'll click on this next slide, which is the second slide of this particular deck. Then I'll come to this option that is smart layout. And if I click on that, there will be multiple different options. You can use any of them to start with. Let me show you a few of the examples and how those can be utilized. If I scroll down here and then I click on this particular option, photos with description, just watch the magic. If I click on it, what it will do, it will generate one slide for me. There are three photos and some text. Now you can change these photos as per your requirement. What you need to do, you just need to click on this image and then you need to click on edit image. Once you click on that, another pane will open with multiple different stock medias. So if you don't want this particular photo and you are choosing this one, then this particular photo will get changed. And this is not only one thing, you will be able to use this particular drop down to find out what type of images you are looking for. Even if you are looking for a QR code that also can be added here as per your requirement. Now, another very good option is that is AI images. If you click on that, you will be able to generate AI images, but that will cost you some of the credits. But if you use any of the images from the stock library, there will not be any cost at all. Now, once you select the source of those images, then you will be able to type your requirement here to change your search criteria. Currently mountain is written and if you want a C photo, then you will be able to type C and then all related photos will come and those you will be able to use in your presentation. So this is one part. Now let me close it and then let me show you a few other options here. You will be able to play with all these options here whenever you are working with any of the images. And if you want additional columns to be added, currently three columns are there, right? And if you want to add any additional columns, you will be able to do it. Now the next option is you will be able to change the style of this entire slide also. You will be able to change any of the layout. You will also be able to change the card color what is the color of this particular card. And if I just select this one, the background of this slide will get changed. Another option is if you want to change the background of this image altogether, you can come to this last option and there you'll be able to select the image you are looking for. Currently, this one is selected. And if I change anything, I'll select this one, then that image will be used as a background of your slide. So good part is only using couple of clicks, we created this slide, we change the theme and aesthetics of this particular slide also. Now let me show you a few more interesting things here. Now, if I click on this plus sign, it will add another slide. When we create our PowerPoint presentations, we sometimes add timelines and which sometimes takes time to design also. Let me show you one option here. If you go here again in smart layout 
and if you scroll down and then you will be able to see there are three four different type of timelines are here if i click on this vertical timeline you will be able to see one timeline got added you just need to edit text as per your requirement and your slides will be ready now if i come here and click on this control charts and diagrams and then i'll be getting multiple different options all these options are there i will show few of the options here but first let me click on this one a donut chart so once i'll drag this particular option here a new pop up will come now here is the table of the data you can add edit modify you will be able to add additional columns by clicking here you will also be able to add additional rows by clicking here and you will also be able to select multiple different styles currently this donut chart is selected here if you want to change it to a pie you will be able to do that line chart column chart bar chart everything can be done here and you will be able to do required changes you can also change the color scheme from here there are some five different color schemes are already defined here you can select on that and once you will be able to mouse over you will be able to see this animation this animation will not be available whenever you will be able to export it to powerpoint but if you use gamma dot app to present your slides then this animations will be still visible now let me do one thing if i click on this cross then this particular chart will get added so the good part is you will be able to add any of the charts and there you will be able to add your own data and then that can be fine tuned as per your requirement now, let me show you another very good thing here if i click on this icon again i go back to this option of smart layout and i select this option three numbers in circles and this is a very good thing why you can see three different columns got added with some text and percentages now if i change this percentage here if i change it to 70% you can see your graph is also getting changed similarly if i change it to 3 by 5 then also your graph will get changed so this is one of the cool feature you will be able to utilize in your slides in similar way if i click on this plus icon again i come to this controls and then this time i select a different type of a chart you can see this is concentric circles diagram and this is not very easy to create manually in case you are planning to use it then this can be extremely useful you just need to edit required text and this will be ready to use now let me show you one final option and that will be very useful and then i'll show you how can you export this entire presentation in powerpoint and then you will be able to edit further in powerpoint so if i come here and click on this plus sign again this time i will show you how can you add your team photo slide you'll come here again in smart layouts and there you will be able to find this particular option here that is team photos if i click on that then you can see it instantly created one structure for team photos and we can see a quite an incredible team here and you can just change the photos accordingly and the text based on your requirement now let me show you how can you use it what do we need to do we need to go to this particular three dots there we'll be getting one option that is export and we'll be able to export as powerpoint let me click on that and then the download will start now while the download is happening one point to understand all these things all those structure we added maybe the team photos or the graphs or charts it doesn't cost you anything normally when you start using gamma dot app there you get 400 credits to start now those credits are normally required whenever you will be generating something using ai capabilities but these are already predefined structure to add this structure in your presentation just change the layout theme colors everything that doesn't cost you anything so you'll be able to use it absolutely for free now let me show you what's it downloaded if i go here and then double click on this particular ppt file then we'll be able to edit it further now you can see my powerpoint is open what i'll do i'll click on this enable editing and then i'll be able to see this entire slide pack all those slides whatever we created i know that we just added the structures we have not done much thing there but here if you try to edit anything those are editable right everything you can do even you can remove this watermark from here so all these things are possible hopefully you will be able to use this particular way instead of creating a powerpoint presentation from scratch you will be able to use gamma dot app to create your structure and then on top of that you will be able to build on it if you want to use any of their ai capabilities like if you want to generate some images using that ai capabilities they also have a plan which is pretty reasonable if i click on this view plans you will be able to see it's 400 rupees per month in indian currency i am accessing it from india that's why it's showing me in indian currency that you can also check out if you have any such requirement to generate your presentations using different ai capabilities now we spent some time to create this presentation maybe 7 to 8 minutes to generate all those eight slides and structure but if you 
wanted ready-made presentation from scratch within just a couple of minutes, just using a couple of prompts, then those AI powered capabilities will be really in use. I already recorded one detailed video where I covered everything you need to know how to generate a PowerPoint presentation from scratch just using a couple of prompts using Gamma.app. You can check out this video to know everything about it.